All right, so big day today. We got our Vice Golf Vice Pro Plus Gold Edition golf balls. We're going to go ahead and do an unboxing today. I ordered five to get the price break. I highly recommend you do the same if you're looking at the same balls. Um, really, anything from Vice, just order more. You're going to get a better deal. Uh, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. I just got off the golf course. Uh, came home to a uh, notification that I had my my golf stuff was all right let's go ahead and check this box out we've got the vicegolf.com embrace your vice a whole lot of stuff on the back pretty cool uh, not too often you actually see mailers with that kind of uh, attention to detail I guess um, it's not really value adding, but it is kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Uh, not cut myself. All right, so we've got. You ready? Jenga. We got five boxes of the gold golf balls one two three four five okay so let's go ahead and pop one of these bad boys open and see what it looks like oh you know what I'm noticing actually I'm not sure if it's a print error or if it's just how they're made but all these boxes are just a tiny bit different you know what, now I'm looking at it, it might just be the, uh, I think it's just the cellophane. Never mind. That's my bad. Okay. So let's go ahead and stack them up. Push them off to the side. We got one here. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. All right. So, looks like it's going to be opening up this way. Okay, interesting. So, looks like some sort of fish here. This is the, uh, oh, there's a name for that fish. It's very scary looking. But that's what's on our cover. And let's go ahead and start popping these bad boys out. Can we make a complete, we can make another complete picture? No, okay. So these ones came with one full picture and two of a repeat of the bottom one. So we've got one full picture and one half picture. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll actually pop open one of these ones that we have a bunch of. So this is the bottom part of the picture of the fish. Oh man. Nice, empty. Vice, gold. What does it say on there? And they have this new kill line or something about a putt line. It just says Pro Plus in there. Very glittery. I don't know if you can get the focus on that. Got a definite glitter finish to it. Maybe a little bit of blue and purple in there. Okay. So, you know, every sleeve comes with three. Multiply that. We've got twos here. Let's go ahead and pop, let's pop some boxes. So we got threes here. Threes with that one, twos with this one. Now, I, I'm not really collecting these so much as just using them as fun golf balls, but I'm gonna try and keep them in the proper cases that they came in just to, you know, keep with that uh, theme. 
And even re really when you touch these together, they feel a little sticky. Um, if I pull like a Nike and a matte finish Callaway, they're a little sticky, but they don't stick together like these do right off the get go there. I'm not, I don't think the camera could pick up my hands too well, but so there's one vice ones, vice ones, vice twos. There's twos, here's threes, three, three, three. And I asked them if I could get the, uh, the USGA or the United, United States versus Europe stamping on them. And Vice was very prompt in their response, but the answer was no. And definitely no, these balls cannot be printed on or, you know, whatever you want to do to them which is fine which is fine i just appreciate the rapid response from vice a company you know direct direct to consumer it makes sense that they're a little bit faster than most since they are direct to consumer but you see we have ones twos threes fours one whole set one whole box four more boxes we'll go through these uh got all these really just for consistency in the chipping practice and the price point really just met up with um, you know something like a pro v1 or a pro v uh, right right in that range there for the compression and, and the feel of the ball uh, as far as my personal experience um, you know the gold ones it's a little bit of a a little bit of a um, promotional thing or a uh, you know a clout a clout bit which is fine because you know I I paid $30 I ordered these early bought five paid $30 a piece for them and I've already got at least one of these sold for more than what I bought it for you know and that that makes up for a big cost part of the balls um, not that they're super expensive when you compare them to pro V's they're actually way less expensive um, and the feel is right on par um, I've been playing with Pro V's for a long time. Uh, I like them. I don't love them. I like Pro V ones. I don't. I like them. I don't love them. But you know, maybe this is a ball I fall in love with. Uh, hopefully not, because they're kind of rare to get. Uh, but other than that, uh, I really hope for some really good rounds with these, and I think it'll be fun looking for them in the in the green green grass of all our local golf courses. California's got a lot to offer, and I. Uh, I intend to leave some of these balls at every course I play at. Not not intentionally. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you for uh, thank you for watching this unboxing and hopefully this helps you with your buying decision. Maybe in the future, once I go through one of these, we'll do a, a full cut through. Uh, but from what I've seen, they're pretty round. They don't really have any issues. So um, you know. Sayonara 20, what is that, 2017, 2016 Titleist, I think it was. They were kind of off-center and whatnot. But, you know, half the, just about half the price, a little bit more than half the price, and uh, on, on par golf ball, pun intended. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video.